at, at least you caught it early this time. <laughs> Sound is good. Okay, now you can hear me. Hey. Um, it always gets me in turning on the like the loop back. Um, cool. Hello, and welcome to. I'm not trying to kill you. Um, I'm Ash. I'm your host, the GM for today. Um, this is my channel. Welcome. And uh, we're going to today. We're playing Between Dreams, which is a game that. Um, Emily and Luke and I wrote about something between magical realism and like fantasy and like mod like the intersection of fantasy and um, and like the modern world specifically inspired by Mur the works of Murakami and Miyazaki um, and it's a weird mashup space but it creates some fun emotional play so we played last week, and we were gonna do a sequel, um, but I feel like this last week's tied up really neatly, and I think I just wanna. Uh, I think we might just like tell another story, cause that's real fun. And uh, <laughs> and um, and to help me tell a story, I have with me three spooky spookos. Is what I'm calling you today, apparently. Um, Luke, do you wanna say hi? Ah, yes, it's me. You're not used to being first, are you? No, I, <laughs> which I should be because like the last couple of these I've done, like yeah. If it, basically, uh, if Emily's not here, you're first. Aw, I feel like I would like to propose fantastical slice of life as our genre term. Great, mm -hmm. yes, because I feel like that captures like some of it. Anyway, yep. Uh, yeah, I'm Luke. I helped design this game, as you heard. Oh. A minute ago. That's all I've got. <laughs> okay, cool. I wrote uh, a role-playing game today. Of course you did. <laughs> of course you freaking did. Because um, you're amazing. Uh, I've got a brand. So, yeah, exactly. Sarah, who are you? Oh, I'm Sarah. I'm PH Dancer's teapot in various places. I'm kind of a generalist artist person. I write and illustrate stuff like stories and things and i'm trying to like self-publish some stuff which is what i'm doing on my patreon at the moment um yeah. like telling stories live for the first time on the weekend which is scary and be i'm good. in a little band called feathers wooden string and we sing about nerdy stuff yeah you do <laughs> and it's great and i love it um also you make really good treasure hunts that oh. was so <laughs> good the yeah. internet's I'm never getting like, one time all of them have all just been like, Whoop. it's great. Yeah. It's the great internet is going to miss out on that. It, it yeah. was a theme from your skill set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do treasure hunts on the internet. You could. I mean, that's what an ARG is, <laughs> but, right? But twine, though. I mean, you 100% could make a twine treasure hunt. Hmm. I feel like I lack the skill set for that. <laughs> well, no, tw Being... twine is specifically means that you don't need a skill set. That's the point. Yeah, it's very really? easy. Um, okay. So you and you and I, you and I will talk about this later. <laughs> okay. This is good. <laughs> All um, right. Chill. Working. Uh, Heather, how you going? I'm good. Uh, I'm Heather, obviously. Uh, I'm short shrub in a bunch of places. Uh, my pronouns are she they, as you can see below me. Mm -hmm. um, I like playing games and writing stuff, and I'm currently studying. That's me. Cool. Um, Sarah is she, her. Luke is they, them. I am she, her. Yeah, I was like, you were halfway through. Um, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just remembered because last time I forgot, so I'm like, I forgot my pronouns. Like, pronouns. Yeah. yeah. I for oh no, I forgot my own pronouns. Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm I'm really into this new, more casual style of opening uh, spiel that we have going now. Yeah, it's good. Like, I like it. about it. It's good. Yeah. Um, and because I've got the pronouns in the box, it makes mm. it less of a problem mm. if, we, if we step past it. Um, cool. Well, 
My question then is, what kind of... Sarah was talking about snow. Apparently it's snowing where Sarah is, and I want to set this... I want to set... I want to make. I want to tell a story that where it's somewhere where it's snowing. Mm -hmm. I fully support this. Okay. I missed snow. I have two ideas. Uh huh. Okay. Iceland with moose. No. <laughs> <laughs> as, tem as tempting as as tempting as that is. Uh, one. Alaska. Mm hmm. Mm. End of idea. That's all I've got. <laughs> Just one word. Okay. Two. Japan. But further south than there would not, like not Hawkeye, like somewhere there would not normally be snow. And mm. so the fact that there is unexpectedly snow, it becomes a metaphor for something. Mm. Like the distance between our characters, which makes us cold and unfeeling, perhaps. Mm. And also the current, like, global climate of isolation. Yeah. The oh. fact that, like, if you're not used to it snowing, you are, like, isolated by just not being able to go to where you normally go to see people, so suddenly you don't have connections you thought you had. This is good. I like the idea you know, of, like, like... When you have a thing you do with people, like, you have a hobby, and if you don't go to the thing, they just don't talk to you anymore. <laughs> that yes. Relationships and proximity uh, are really weird yeah. and tricky. I think I would be able to do slightly better Canada than Alaska, but at the same time, I'm uh, mm. uh, um, uh, like in a the long dark slash. Um, we could be in Moose Jaw. There's a there's a there's a there's a another game that's an, there's, there's all these like horror horror slash survival games that are set in like mm. snowy Canada. Canada, yes. Get you on. Let's. let's I would do also that. like just to Could clarify. We do it? I just when I we... said Alaska, what I really meant was in a Bob Ross painting. Right, yeah. <laughs> Legit, yeah. Most mm -hmm. of which were of Alaska, but also could, might as well have been Canada. So. Yeah. That's, yeah, no. So let's do, shall we do like far North America? Mm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. My character is from Texas, and I will be doing an accent. Oh, I mean, I, is, it, is it just I a JP accent? Because that's because like if you're just gonna play JP, then like that's right, that's right. It, no, it, I'm like, gonna play. It, this is this, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna if you're gonna play JP, I'm just gonna remove the like I'm not trying to kill you. Like <laughs> I'm I'm no, I'm gonna play a crossover between JP and Adam. Yeah, yeah, no. Wait, that glorious bearded baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I really want to know. This got real okay. weird. Like, if, if Adam <laughs> had come into streaming through the channel that JP did and was from Texas. That's, that's, that's my character. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I think then we should... Um, we should actually make characters then. Um... What? Does someone want to Can... chat? Chat, um, uh, especially subscribers. What's the name of our weird imaginary Canadian town? Um, let can, me know. can we, before we um, dig into character creation, can we just like flesh out a little bit more what we mean? Because like, yeah, definitely. Mm. Like, like are far we in North America? Or... Are we? In, are we yeah, in... are we in the mountains? Are we, are we in the forests? In the prairies or? Is it so, a town? Um, yeah. Is it a village? Is um, it a I'm city? Thinking, I'm thinking town. Um, but like right on the edge of that that space where it becomes basically impossible to provide all of the like modern luxuries, um, because mm. there's all of the like uh there's all of the um there's all of the 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 um primarily indigenous communities um like mm. in the in the really remote parts of Canada where it's like. Do you want a, a bottle of milk? That'll be twenty dollars because we can't be mm. bothered providing you basic services. Um, so I don't think we're in that space, but I think we're like on that frontier, like but mm. like near there, um, because those communities tend to be quite closely knit. Um, uh, like 
my experience of of mm. like living in remote towns um yeah there's definitely always been that everyone knows like everyone knows everyone and there is a lot of um well, i think it, in general more, like the harder the, uh, yeah the harder it is to survive somewhere the closer everyone becomes yeah we actually talked about this in one of my topics yeah um hmm. yeah and there's a lot more ambient emotional context um mm. so i think that's a that's a cool thing to do for our, for play um i'm thinking like pick up trucks pine trees um maybe uh, maybe like um like upward motors if we're somewhere that's like near the large amount of coast um mm. things like that my brain is going to the long dark um yeah, a you general store, not said, a supermarket. All yeah, I know exactly. about the long dark is bears. I mean, yeah. <laughs> My character is a bear. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, as you said, me, modern. Um, are we going with the 1988 rule? Yeah, like, well, yeah. What do we want to go with, right? Like, I like the idea of because like, setting it in modern, modern, and having like cell phones, but that be a thing that is. Because of where we unreliable. are. Unreliable. Yeah, it's unreliable. Yeah, mm. yeah like, not yeah. really in range. If the one mm. power is, like, and like <laughs> yeah. damaged in a storm, then you just can't get any signal. And, like, mm. it's not even... Self, and like, if the satellite's not in the right spot, you're screwed. Yeah, and also... Mm. There's a light cloud power. cover. The satellite's <laughs> just blocked. Yeah. Southerly winds. Also, lithium-ion batteries have trouble with cold. Huh. Uh, I did not know that. I thought, there you go. I thought batteries liked the cold and they lasted longer. I am probably incorrect. <laughs> Some batteries. I don't know. Um, probably, when I worked yeah. at Telstra, that was one of the things we were told to tell people. No. Oh. Huh. I thought they wouldn't like the heat. They it's definitely really I was certainly when <laughs> my old phone battery decided to, like, puff up a bit and we oh. were like... Maybe we'll take that out and let's not touch that. Yeah. If a battery and if a, if a if a battery puffs, get rid of it. That's that's our mm. warning for today. Um, mm. The the other like kind of like quote unquote world building uh -huh. uh, mm. question I would have. Because I th I feel like this was really useful. Um, the first playtest we did was like getting a sense of like what is the problem slash general emotional tenor of the like last time we were like hey it's like japanese detroit right so like mm. it was a major industrial yeah. center and now it's dying and falling apart and all the young people are moving like i think it's and that became the heart of the game like what's this mm. town's like I think sad problem I, I almost <laughs> like i almost want to es establish that the game is always about a place that is like in decline <coughs> It almost feels like it's always about that. Like Yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a valid there's a valid flip side to that, which is that like uh, everything is getting super gentrified and like developers are moving in oh, and yeah. like all of the things you remember from your childhood are under threat. Like I think there's various mm. versions of like it's memory thinking. memory being under attack. Mm. Yeah. But I think yeah. yeah, like the hauntedness needs to be somehow be poked at. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, it could be like an, an old lumber town, and the mill is. I was gonna say like yeah, an industry date, having closing left. down. Yeah, a mine mm. or a mill or something like that having mm. having closed down is a really classic one. Yeah, and like strike like in the middle of maybe like strike action going on to try and keep it open. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, I know what it is. Coal seam fire. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, yes. I keep seeing pictures of that place that they had to like evacuate everyone because the, the they entire had... town like underneath is on, on fire. Yeah. And it had just flashback to Silent Hill. Yeah, exactly. They 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 like there's <laughs> a thing that happens surprisingly often, but not very often directly underneath the town. So, um, <laughs> the town name is Passant Odessus, but not pronounced like French, like super Anglo. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I don't know what that means in French. I'm going to find out. 
In case you're telling I got us. nothing. In, in case I'm being I feel like edited I need to like, like dirty like, words. Go wake up my mom and talk to her to get my Canadian accent going. <laughs> Hopefully she'd appreciate yeah. it. To, to, <laughs> to, to, to clarify, Silent Hill is a horror video game series, but mm. when they made the movie oh. adaptation, they very deliberately modeled the aesthetic of it off. Yeah, like the kind of like super like smoke choked aesthetic mm. that mm-hmm. uh, Centralia has. For, 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 for French. Pit passing. Uh, passing above. Uh, okay, cool. I got confused because my um, my Google Translate when I like tried to translate it translated it into Arabic for me. Um, Helpful. Cool. Um, yeah, passing over. I like that. Like. Does that have a, a reference to Passover? Like the religious. It does now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that's now definitely a thing. Um. <laughs> Coal. All right, we have the name of the town. It was a coal mining town. Now it's a coal seam fire town. And yeah, and and it's a town where like all the young people are leaving, right? Like mm. the young people have no reason to stay. It's one of those kinds of kinds of situations. Mm. Mm. Um. So let's go through then. I think that's that's probably enough to build our characters. Um, yeah, totally. Let's go to Outlook. Everyone should have a character in um, Roll20, by the way. Okay. Um, Luke, you got Srorgrk, which is like yes. one of the least pronounceable ones I've ever seen Roll20 generate. <laughs> that is the name. That is, that is exactly the name of my bear character. Oh, of course, <laughs> that makes sense. It's the, I mean, it's written in oh, bearish, so yeah. Um, as as planned. Expansion for uh, expansion for Between Dreams, a specific playbook for playing like an animal companion. I don't know. I feel like in keeping with the magical realist theme, you just play a character. Oh, good point. You do, and yeah. your look is just bear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Sounds legit. And like, yeah. I haven't like, decided yet if I'm actually a bear or I'm like a person who can turn it, who just turns into a bear. Sometimes I haven't, I haven't committed yet to an aesthetic. Like we'll like, see. Like, I'm play I to like find the idea out. of someone playing like a belligerent or melancholy mentor that is like also like just a total anime, like animal companion sidekick. Just all that, like you know, believe in yourself. <laughs> I need a drink. Like, <laughs> I I mean, like, he, like Ash, you're kind of describing the character that I'm yeah, like, right. sort of beginning to plan. Um, uh, I think I want to be someone's. I think I want to be someone's parent too, because mm-hmm. I feel like if we're like, I feel like the other thing that I I learned from like the first really good play test we had was that like making characters who deliberately tap really directly and emotionally into the central like mm-hmm. problem in the town was yes, really I powerful. Think that's really valuable. Mm. So yeah, I want to be a parent who has a kid who wants to leave and I do not want them to leave. Mm-hmm. Mm. And okay. that kid can be a PC or an NPC, but I think that's who yeah. I Yeah, no, that's cool. I like it. But also I'm a bear. So just a bear. And no explanation, right? It's magical realism. At no point do we have to justify this. I'm just a bear. This kind of reminds me of Lumberjanes. She's just a bear. She's like, what do you mean? How am I a bear? I'm a bear. Deal with it. Let's just fucking go with it. God. Is Ranma one half, but there's no warm water? (laughs) But like, yes, though. Yeah, right. (laughs) I'm gonna be I'm gonna be belligerent because I'm a bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I want to be like a teenager slash young person who has like left, but then ended up having to come back. Oh my and, god! You're not in like, the woods. Um, like, it's like a, the, uh, if you've played Night in the Woods, May the main character is a hundred percent that, which is great. Okay. <laughs> Sarah thought mm-hmm. is uh, a member of your family dead and you had to come back for the funeral 
Sure. That works. Like either that or you take, take it or leave it. I'm not attached to it. Like, it's the, just... the, the person, were they eaten by a bear? No. <laughs> the other one is, like, if we go the night in the woods route, you dropped out of college, right? Like, college just wasn't... Yeah. Easy. But it also means that you don't have, like, a degree that you can go and get a fancy city job with. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think, like, whatever that... Uh, yeah, I think something along those lines, like, I'd gone to study somewhere or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it just skip. didn't work out. Mm. Um, for whatever reason. Although, <laughs> I was originally thinking that I didn't know why I'd ended up back here, and it was, like, all total mystery to me. <laughs> well, let's not nail it down, then. Let's let's find yeah, out exactly. and play. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I'm supposed to have left, yeah. but I haven't, and like I've ended up back. I don't know why. Yeah, cool. thing. Um, mm -hmm. do you have a feeling about outlook? Hmm, I'm not sure. I kind of think hopeful, but I don't know if that's boring for me. Could be I mean, melancholy. Well, that's very that, college student. No, none of them mm. are boring. There's no boring choices here. Mm. Like the obvious choices mean like the obvious choices give you permission to like play a trope, and taking mm. non-obvious choices is like saying, "Hey, I'm I want to do the work of getting some extra nuance out of it." Mm. That's how that's how role playing games work in general. When you're building characters, right? Like you can be like, "I'm going to be yeah. an elven druid who really likes trees." Or you can be like, I'm going to be an elven druid of rats in the city who thinks that they should... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Like, you can... You Counterpoint. Can, mm, I'm going to be take over a, the world. a dwarf druid who doesn't give a shit about trees but has a lot of complex feelings about soil biology. Yeah, exactly. Yes. See? Yeah, that's the... That's, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What is more than soil biology? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be overthinking this. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be thoughtful because it encourages me to be quiet. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't really. Maybe I am belligerent. Cool. Don't know. Two belligerents going head to head. I like it. I if you if you go belligerent, Sarah, I might go melancholy because that was the other one yeah. I was thinking about. Um, I like the idea people. of a melancholy bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, on the other hand, hopeful. Like, um, I have this feeling that this character, like, has in the past has just sort of had that experience where they hope, like, they wish for things and that everything kind of works out, and then all of a sudden everything's stopped working out, and they don't know how to do life without things just falling in place. So, yeah, like, you got you got your you got your dream, and you got out of town, and yeah. now you're back. <laughs> back. Yep, I love it. Um, yeah. Heather, how are you feeling about? I'm thinking some sort of young professional that's been sent here and doesn't really have the, a choice. Because I know in Australia there's a bunch of different things that have placements, yep. and you have to go like regional placements. Mm -hmm. Yep, teaching like, and nursing are the two classics. Um, teaching and nursing are the two classics. Yeah. Um, 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 I know dentists also do it, but of course, I'm not yeah. terribly keen on being a dentist. News, news broadcasting. Oh, Ooh. right. It's literally cool. a thing. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that one. Oh. Or at least I'm given to understand it's a thing. I like it. I'm, mm. not, I'm not a news broadcaster. I don't know from personal experience. Mm. Lots of medical professionals. Mm. Speech pathologists. I know a few who've had to go super. Speech pathologists mm. for regional placements. That's Wow. Mm. Like, yeah. okay. I mean, how else are they going to get out there? Well, the thing is, like, I feel like speech pathologist or news broadcaster, though, wouldn't be in the town this small, right? Mm, like, not. I feel like, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, the one, the one person running the local radio station. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Actually, well, yeah, point. your placement is to just run the whole thing. I mean, there's no mentor then, then, or anything. Then, it's, <laughs> then, then we've got the, like, the Night Vale vibe as well. Um, oh, okay, right. Uh, you you have that, a very different media touchstone for a small, wintry Canadian town with a yeah, uh, radio I'm station in it than I do. Either either Nightvale or Pontypool, and I'm like, I am I thinking Pontypool. I am going in the Pontypool direction. See, I have I. That's not my touchstone. So yeah, it's a very good movie. <laughs> 
messed up. I mean, so yeah. many that are set in like an isolated winter town are because it's about people and feelings and um, yeah. I mean, what? Nothing. Um, so yeah, possibly like a nurse or a teacher who's just it. completely out of their depth. Yep. Um, and yeah, a couple of different outlooks I think could work for it, but yeah. also like define the character more. So I'm not sure which one to go with. Nurse is really interesting because um, at least in um, Western Australia, um, my mum, when, when we were kids, we got, um, my mum went and did a placement for two years in a remote community as the community nurse because there was only a doctor there one day a week. Yes. So okay. all the Could rest also of the be time, a pharmacist as well, I think, possibly. Yeah. 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 All the rest of the time, there's just, there's like, yeah, there's a clinic with a single nurse to handle mm. the, the, the town's health needs. So, yeah. I like pharmacist. I think pharmacist that's really interesting. interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I got all the drugs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Cool. All right. Okay. Um, pharmacist. Keeping things moving, do people have a role? I'm I'm being really obvious. Uh, I'm gonna go mentor. Yep. Yep. So I'm either gonna be a melancholy or a belligerent mentor. I haven't mm -hmm. decided yet. Sounds good. Do you know your specialty move already? No. Okay. I'm still. I'm so tempted to take animal companion, but I'm not gonna do it. Ah, uh, yes, the talking bear, who is the town something, and also their animal companion, a bear. <laughs> I'm bears, no, they, 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 no, no, and, and like their pet bear walk, they walk around on a leash. Like, no, I'm not going, I'm not, oh, okay. it's too weird. I'm not going there. I'm going to pick something else. I just thought the joke needed to be made. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think I might go with a suit, because I feel... Yeah, that makes sense. Like... And also, like, while I do eventually one day want to play Enigma, like, I feel, especially for me, um, being a super fucking white person um, and Canadian and kind of not being aware enough, obviously, but, like, being vaguely aware of how much stuff is being taken and not, like, respected yeah. Yeah. properly. Yeah. Um, I am uncomfortable taking the Enigma role in this particular example. Yep. So I'll go with suit. That is cool. Yeah, I'm going to specifically continue to do this. Like, this is the same as when I'm I, I'm telling stories about like Australian spooky stuff. There is the like you like when we're doing. So like, let's let's take a moment to talk about like spooky stuff in places where there's an indigenous culture that's been fucked over. Mm. What I the way that I approach this because it's the thing that comes up in that, that comes up in my work like it's a, it's a thing that we had to deal with for Apocalypse World. Mm. There is a background like element that is the, that is the like the cultural pain and the, uh, the there's there's multiple bo there's this this this, this pastiche um, of like cultural background that is. The traditions uh, and like stories of the the indigenous people. There is the pain and um, and suffering um, and like cultural trauma that comes from colonization. Um, and then there is also an element of um, what what Europeans interpret when they come when they colonize. Um, um, and then, like, there's and, and then there's the ongoing trauma that creates a cultural space on which to uh, uh, like that can act as a background uh, and and a context for the stories we're telling without outright um, telling stories we have no right to. Um, mm. We can be uh, so in. Um, mm in games where it's a, where it's an Australian setting I can uh, like we I tell stories that pull on themes and reinforce ideas mm -hmm. and use those to tell the story without actually have it, uh, that are a part of that cultural pastiche um, mm. that, uh, that comes from the trauma of colonialism um, without 
having to specifically um, appropriate spooky mm. spooky stuff from indigenous cultures because it's spooky and weird. Um, that's not a thing we need to do in order to be able yeah. to. Mm-hmm. So mm. there will, I'm going to say this right now, there will be no Wendigos here. Just <laughs> not a thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, like, guess what? Like, none of us, none mm. of us have a right to that. Mm. Um, yeah, like I, I trust you to, to be a respectful person about that sort of cultural stuff. Um, yeah, I just... As soon as it was like Canada, I'm like, I'm not going to Enigma. It's yeah, too no, close to home. That's, yeah, that's fine, and that's that's really good. Good job, like identifying that. Um, but yeah, yeah I, and I think just like I think that's the thing that I, I kind of want to make sure that I continue to reinforce with this game. Yeah, yeah, no, I think given the political context of magical realism as a genre, I think in this game specifically, it is like particularly super important. Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, Sarah, are you being the child? Is that what you're doing? Or are you being something else? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it's, bet- it's actually between child and suit because mm. you know, I think it would also work to, to be like super like in denial of anything. Yeah. Weird going on. I mean, that's... Um, and, like, and, like, even though I don't really know why I'm back as well, like, just, like, nothing weird about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just am. Mm. Just don't am. Make a big de- don't make a big deal out of it. Yeah, I make a fuss. Like, you know, yeah, just came like in. That. That's cool. Never. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. Cool. So... Um, also, I want to just like preemptively apologize to all the Canadians for my inability to present a country that I've never been to. Um, uh, it's Canada, they automatically forgive you. Yeah, exactly. It's great. The, no, what happens then is they apologize to me for like making it so hard. Um, <laughs> uh, do we have so have we have we locked in role and outlook combinations yet? Um, uh, not yet. I think we've got two suits, which is cool. I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, it leaves, it leaves us denial. with like <laughs> so little access to the deep work move as a group, which is really fun, which is really interesting. Yeah. Mm. 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 Um. Because like for both, for both characters, there is a sense of like there's a there's a reason for them not uh, for them not to have access to like the emotional content of spaces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love the yeah, I think having... I can either go with hopeful or melancholy as well. And I'm like, either one would make a very different character. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, flip a coin. <laughs> I like the idea of like a hopeful suit in a new town and being like. Like, mm. you know what? I'm gonna, I, like, I've only got to be here for now. I'm gonna months. make the best of it. I'm gonna make the best of it and all of those sorts of things. Mm. I think that's real cute. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and hurry people along because we tend mm-hmm. to, like, take a lot of time with this. Um, and like the game does expect you to like make decisions and then work out what they look like in play. Um, this, is a, this is a Pacific Northwest style game. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, all right, I've I'm, I've got two options for the move, and mm-hmm. I am I'm gonna open it up to the table and to chat. Mm-hmm. I'm either going to take uh, things speak or ritual movement. Um, and I haven't decided which one yet. Yeah. Mm. I feel like the question there is whether or not your character has a sense of moving on. Because if they have a sense of moving on, then it's ritual movement. If they don't, it's thing speak. One is one is forward focused. One is uh, one is future focused. One is past focused. That's a really good point. I'm taking things speak. Cool. That's what I thought. 
Because, like, a lot of the, like, fictional, like, the narrative tropes I was interested in exploring with ritual movement, I can just put in deep work instead. So. Yeah. Because you have deep work. Because <laughs> I do have deep, I have deep work. The only one who has. I'm magic and spooky. Ooh. Mm. Uh, I might go with special knowledge. Um, would medicine be too broad? Or... That's fine. Medicine is fine. And then you can take a first aid kit. And then yeah. Ash... Even if Ash tries, she can't kill us. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a challenge, and I'm scared. Look, like this game like isn't this... about people dying. You're, we'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we've established that that my style, like the game, it's called "I'm Not Trying to Kill You" to remind everyone that I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just letting you kill yourselves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I mean. Yeah, to be fair, the last time I played this game, someone died. It doesn't happen as often I as like a bunch like of other that, shows. I feel like that was Todd. <laughs> I feel Not like that's on him. Hospital. Look, he was like, yeah, I really want to play out the shape of water using this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to touch, gonna, touch your fish butt. Gonna, gonna touch your fish butt. <laughs> All right. Um, a horrible corpsey fish butt. <laughs> Don't kink, kink shame, Ash. Come on, come on, the kink shame is fine. Um, cool. Um, but yeah, medicine's 100% all right. Um, Sarah, how are you feeling about moves? I think you're going to try the poetry thing. Cool, I love it. I, I think sure. I was, like, studying literature. Uh -huh. And I went away. That's what I went away to do. Um, yeah. Cool. That's yeah. really cool. Um, so I would like have... to ask a question. Yes. Because we've reached a point where it feels to me like an interesting possibility, and I would like to know if I should lean into it or lean away from it. Mm -hmm. Are we a family? Mm. I mean, Heather's character is from outside. Okay. The town. That's true. Yeah. But Heather, you're muted. But it is possible for, like, Luke and Sarah's characters to... You're still muted. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why, because it doesn't say you're muted in Zoom. It says you're muted. Or, like, you're just not making sound. Yeah. And also, like, like Heather's, Heather's character is not from the town, but that doesn't, like, rule out a family connection, right? No, that's true. Yeah, no, true. And, like, making this a really intimate drama feels like it could have some productive... Mm. Like, it feels like there is a productive space there that is, like, one way to explore what we're building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I just thought I would, like, put that out there for people to have feelings about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have a newspaper. Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm going to use my newspaper to, like, bin <laughs> the game or something. <laughs> oh, I know what my newspaper is. You, it, is it a newspaper? No, I've, no, it's a, it's a specific. It's specific. You always keep the, the newspaper, and it's always the newspapers from a specific day. I mean, like, it, it, of course it is. Yeah. Like, why would I take the newspaper otherwise? I think the town, like, there's a town newspaper, and I think I still have the copy that has the, like, article that they wrote about Sarah's character that was like, oh, you know, like... Remember the town, want a scholarship to go off to college and study literature. And yes, so I still because, have it. Like, and it's, yeah. an, it's an emotionally loaded object did in yes, my life. Yeah, like definitely. Did Sarah's or something? Mm -hmm. Did Sarah's character win in a poetry competition or something? Yes. I, I, yeah, I, that, that seems... Yeah, I, I, that's a, I that's guess a you do a bunch of like, bits of newspapers. <laughs> sort of like... <laughs> Things I did when I was like a teen, and then like yeah. I've just shown up home and like haven't. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a newspaper, wow. but it's actually it's a scrapbook of pages yeah, from like, newspapers yeah. over time. Yeah, it's my like isn't my kid really talented? But yeah. also they left, and I feel deeply conflicted. Mm. Souvenir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking that we'll <laughs> take a quick break, come back to character creation, and give Heather a minute to try and fix her microphone. Hmm. All right. Yeah, cool. Don't know what's happening. In a minute. Catch you later.